think he he surprised all of us. And uh, just having two receivers over over one over 100 yards this game against a, a big matchup. This is only the start of, of something else. I mean, um, this game was was a tremendous game. And they fight, and um, I mean, we, we kept firing back. You guys only had 48 offensive plays and over five. It was more than 10 yards of play. How did it feel tonight? Did it just feel different? Definitely different. Uh, from going to over 90 plays to half half of that. So I mean, we didn't have, you know. I mean, we just we just excited to have this new offense, and uh, Joe just surprising us every week, and ready to go out there and just have fun. When they're scoring, and you you know you see them score, are you just saying, all right, well, let's get it back, right, like, we're going back it? on top. Uh, I mean, Joe never, I mean, he don't see any fear in his eyes, and uh, Coach Joe just keep wanting to throw the ball, and that's what we want to do. We don't, we're not getting down. We still have play time. Uh, whenever there's time on the clock, we're gonna keep throwing the ball. How much fun is this for you? Oh, it's too fun. We having too much fun out there. Just throwing the ball, uh, running the ball. Clyde definitely has some big runs. Uh, this offense is just phenomenal. How Thank big you. was that? How big was that swing with uh, Derek Stingley getting that interception in the end zone and you turning right around and um, being able to score right off? Of oh, it was a big swing, big swing. And um, whenever the defense have a, a turnover, we definitely get excited on our feet and it makes us want to go down there and score. And um, that was definitely a big play for us. And in the past, the attitude might have not have been to throw the ball, but we've seen that multiple times in, in crunch situations. What does that say just about the development of this offense? Uh, we went from a, a two-receiver set to a four-wide. So uh, this offense is not going to be uh, running the ball as much as we did before. So even in uh, crunch time, we're still going to pass the ball. Uh, everybody was in a way out trying to look on the big screen to see what happened. Obviously, though, he makes that play mm -hmm. after they had kind of gone after him all night like no team had to this point. Right. So to see a freshman respond when he needed to, mm -hmm. what was it like? Yeah. Um, you know, I think I think it was him uh, keeping his composure out there. You know, uh, you don't want to lose composure against one against another good team like that. So uh, he just showed up when he had to. You know, that's a new play we had put in called Felton. You know, uh, a hesitation at the line, give a move, and Clyde comes swing through on a slant. And, uh, just like a, a, a swish, a grub, or something like that. You know, I just got open out there. And when Marcel gets that sack, it seemed like that kind of was sort of a turning point. Like, the defense started, and y'all obviously capitalized with right. the offense. Did it feel like that for y'all? Uh, I think it did feel like that. I think when Marcel got that turnover, I think that was big for us today. Uh, I know the receivers played big tonight, you know, uh, me, Justin, Phony, Andy Black, you know, we all uh, came up big today. Uh, you know, just catching the first downs, making, uh, converting the third downs to first downs was probably the biggest thing we had to do today. Y'all feel like y'all were scoring too fast the way that they were holding the ball? Uh, yeah, I, I did think, say that. Uh, I told that to uh, Justin, you know, uh, I felt like we was on the sideline forever. I think they was trying to do that on purpose or something, so I, I, don't, I don't know. What's it, what's it like to be part of this off? This is not like a How's it different for you to play in? Uh, it's different because we have a lot of weapons this year. You know, uh, it's all about picking your poison. So if you want to double team somebody, we have another position that's open. You know, um, if you want to double both of both of our receivers, you know, um, then we have our back. So there's a lot of options we have to do. Does, does it feel different? Because I mean, LSU has always been like a defense first mm -hmm. kind of uh, team, and where you know that was kind of the identity, right. and now it feels like it's flipped. Uh, I don't. I don't really see the difference. You know, I just see same defense. You know, with a, with a good offense now. So uh, I just think it's it's a it's a equal team now. Is there any more trash talk in this game than normal between you, your receivers and their defensive back, or is it was it more typical than you thought it might be? Uh, you know, I started I started talking a little trash in, uh, in probably the third quarter. Um, but uh, I know I know something had happened on the side with Justin. I know he had got his foot stepped on. He did something on purpose. You know I don't know what else he said, but he told me some other stuff. So trash talking did get pretty expensive out there. So. <laughs> Jamar, uh, just like at Texas, mm -hmm. you got a late lead late in the game. It's a close game. Right. Not gonna run the ball three times and punt. <laughs> Kill shot, right? Right. Uh, uh, did you just talk about you know that? that play? Um, <coughs> Uh, it was a good play call, you know. We kept coming back to that play, coming back to me and uh, slide, you know, seeing how how uh, Henderson was gonna play me press or off, 
So um, we waited a few possessions to fly by, and then we finally caught it at the perfect time. You know, uh, it's me just stepping at the line and slant, uh, Clyde coming through and getting a slant. It's like a rug, and I just got free. What do you say about Joe's leadership kind of battling through some adversity tonight? Oh, man, that guy. Uh, I mean, even even when Joe came in, that's that's he just – like I know everybody has said it before, but he he just took us by storm. Uh, came in, was the role was the role model, was the leader, was was everything that we needed in a quarterback. You know, I, I climb I climb with Joe time to time, but just just about oh Mr. Mr. Joe Burrow, man. But I mean, you know, he's 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 like a, he's like a big brother to me. You know, came in, only been knowing him a couple years, and 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 we're we're tight as ever. He he took the team by storm, and you know, uh, everybody's following him, and he's making it happen. You see that gator chomp there at the end. I mean, that's. That atmosphere was pretty electric. Man, the crowd. man, I, I saw the Gator Chomp. Um, Coach Oda, Coach Oda don't like us looking in the crowd, <laughs> but uh, I told T. Rob, I told T. Rob to turn around and look. I said, man, look at this atmosphere. This is ridiculous. Um, this is the reason why I came here. I'm from Baton Rouge. I said, man, just look at it. And I mean, that's something that's that's that's, a, that's an image that's gonna be stuck in my head for the rest of my life. If you were talking to someone who's never been here before, how would you describe what you saw when you looked up there? I have to describe it in like a paragraph or like one word. Whatever works for you. Um, I don't want to be I don't want to be you know stereotypical and just say oh it was amazing. Or, I mean it's it's unexplainable. Um, that's 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 a that's a word that I would use for it. You would have to be here to understand the the feeling of the crowd and also you know just the atmosphere. Um, everybody talks about how crazy Tiger Stadium is and and you know knowing it's this crazy and knowing that I've I mean, I grew up right down the street. Certain games, you come in the stands and, and you see, okay, that was a crazy game. But actually playing and, and being on the field and understanding the importance of, of everybody that's, that's at the game and understanding, okay, you know, Louisiana is watching everything that, that we have going on is something that's very special. Was this the best game of your college career? Um, as far as, you know, today, I would say probably so. Uh, I, felt, I felt comfortable with everything. Um, I always pre felt pretty comfortable, but I would say, uh, you know, as far as overall pass protecting everything else, uh, route running, uh, running the ball, I felt like it was probably the most complete.